she said she had 300 Barbies in the box. <laughs> I hope she wasn't talking about these because they definitely ain't in the box. This is Buffalo Picker coming at you with another video. I am in North Georgia at a antique store. It's called the uh, Lakewood 400. And um, normally I don't uh, frequent these type stores because of what I do with uh, Amazon and, and Walmart. But uh, because of a Barbie deal and you know, AKA the Barbie King, I had to come and see these uh, Barbies that was for sale. The lady says she have about 300. So, you know, uh, give or take, it may be 300, but whatever the case is, I hope we can cut the deal. It didn't sound too good when we was negotiating through, through the, uh, chat, but, um, I decided to take a chance, drive up here, you know, meet her face to face and like they say, money talk. So let's get to it. The uh, Lakewood Antique 400 on uh, Georgia 400. So probably about hour and a half, hour 45 minutes outside of Atlanta. So yeah, let's get in here and see if we can find something to flip. <clears throat> Okay, so here we go. Uh, nah, what is this? Big D's barbecue. Um, everybody got a boot. Um, seem like, uh, hey, how you doing? Seem like the prices here are negotiable. Um, <clears throat> and they got a lot of different uh, variety of stuff. Every boot here looks unique from what I can see at first glance. Uh, I'm gonna make my way over to the lady that I came here to see for the Barbies. Um, but yeah, they uh, definitely have a lot here to see. Um, this place is probably about a hour and 20 minutes, 30 minutes from Atlanta. And um, they have furniture here, antique furniture, modern furniture. They have a lot of vintage um, figurines um vintage signs now these are some nice signs in here let me see if they the uh real deal yeah they are heavy definitely heavy oh yeah um want 225 for that one Let's see like i said uh they got the prices on the items but that ain't the in all be all you definitely can negotiate your price this one got some uh bullet shots in it uh, but you can see based off of this this is definitely the real deal they want uh 2900 for that but yeah it's a lot of um vintage stuff in here uh definitely something in here for everybody I guess this is Becky's shop. I see all these toys and here are the Barbies. Let's see what she got here. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we got the uh, Harley Davidson right here. I think I sent one of these to Ella. Save here first. So if she give me a good price on those, I'll definitely get those. Um, the condition of the boxes seems to be okay. These are not Barbies right here, but they're the Madeline Monroe dolls. Now she says she had about 300 Barbies. So how you doing? So I'm looking and I don't see 300. <laughs> Good shape. Hey, how you doing? All right, how are you? Doing well. Um, did we talk before on are you Facebook? The guy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. And I, so I've got all of these here. Right. The few that are up there. And then. I have these here. 
Okay. And there's another one here and here. Alright. Um and, and that's that's pretty much all you got? That's all I've got. Okay. Let's uh see if we're gonna be able to do business. The ones that you uh, have here. Yeah. And uh the ones that I'm gonna take. What what is your what is your price? Like for the small size compared to the bigger size? Well, in the vintage I'm getting fifteen on these. 25 on these and 20 on the road. Right. 25 on those. But right. basically, just look at what's here and make me an offer and we'll go from there. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to see if we can establish that now because normally when I buy these, I buy, I pay two different prices yeah. for the size. And then based off of that, because I'm not going to buy a couple of Barbies. I plan on buying pretty much uh, predominantly of what you see here, but I just need the right price. Well, the best thing to do is just go through, figure up what you're looking at, and then, you know. Okay, so let's just set the table. If I buy all your smalls, what's the lowest I could get one for in a bulk price? Well, see, with me, I don't do like the individual thing as far as low per price. What I do is when you put everything together right. and you say, I'll give you this for what's right here. Then I look at what's right there and I say, okay, yeah, I can do that. Or, well, I can do this. Okay, so for everything up here that's, that's not damaged, I and mean, I'm only speaking of the Barbies, but all the ones that are not damaged in that well, up. So these right here are not Barbies. No, those are real. Right, but so. People still consider them Barbies. So yeah. What you should do is just take what you want. Okay, what's on the place? Right here. So you want me to take them out and put over there without saying what we're going to bottom line going to be? Yeah. You think I'm Kenya? I swear to God. Because I can always put them back, but I can't look at, I mean, you know, I can tell you, I can count up all the Barbies total of everything that's here, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and tell you what I do based on how many I have sitting here. Right. But not knowing what you're going to pull out and not pull out and all that, I can't say, well, you know, it's like... Do it. 76, 77, 78, 79. Those over there, because it's a few of those. The damage on the box is just too bad. Okay. So there's 79 of them. Right. So if you took them all, I would do 700, and that's less than $9 of Barbie across the board. You say how much now? 700. 700. Bucks okay, so um, that's a good price. I'm not disputing the price, but what I want to put in there is that I'm only interested in the boxes that are not damaged. Like those ones over there with the uh, scotch tape on them, it's already been opened. I don't, I don't, I'm definitely not interested in those. So if I get 79, we're talking about eight dollars and 86 cents a Barbie. Is that what so we're take saying? Them all. Yeah, it's $700 for all of what's up front here. Say what now? It's $700 for all of what's up front here that I get. Yeah, that ain't damaged. Well, no, I just counted them all. Yeah, yeah, so and I'm. That's what. Like I said, if you're going to go through the pick, then I can't. No, no, no. I'm going. Most of the bars I'm going to take. That's what I'm saying. It may be two or three in here that I haven't seen that I don't want because I can't do nothing with them. Now the reason, the only reason I stayed there is because the last time I had somebody come do this, yeah, they came and they picked out, and then they wanted the low price for fifty percent of the bar. Oh no, no, no. no. Just, we are, we go. already established that. All yeah, right. okay. We're good to go then. All right, yeah. Let me go get my bags. Okay. okay, so as you all heard, uh, pretty much got a, a good deal. Um, she bundled everything up into one price. So I'm cool with that. Uh, normally what I do is I try to pay five for the small, 10 for the uh, large Barbies, but uh, she wanted to roll everything up into one price. I just had to establish with her that I wasn't gonna take the Barbies that was damaged included in that price. Uh, so we good, hopefully. She don't renege on the deal. I'm gonna run down here to Wells Fargo, pick up the money, come back, and I may purchase some of her other uh vintage toys that that she have so 
yeah let's go boy i tell you um i just got a message from the lady that uh she uh said that she didn't want to be recorded uh it's amazing how many people don't know their first amendment right i mean the very first one i mean anything public can be recorded i mean that is law so i don't know uh I'll probably just give her respect and blur out her face but i doubt i'm gonna kill the footage uh because um i want you all to see this i want you all to see this transaction So yeah, uh, if you're into, into this kind of stuff, it's definitely um, a place uh, worth taking the time to come up here and see this stuff. Uh, Price you got on the Funko Pops is the uh, final price? No, I can work with them. Okay, so if I bought all six of those, how much you could sell them to me for? Uh, I got 20, 25, I got one. 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Got 105 on them. What do you okay. want to offer me on them? Say so you got 105 on them? 105 on those six, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you saying it's negotiable? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. 75? Yeah, I can do 75. All right. You just want the box ones, right? Yes. You have a home with Simpson? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. All right. These are just ones that I have. Well, you can, put, you can put that on the table. So that's uh, 75. Let me uh, look at what else you got in here. So what, what is the name of your shop, sir? It's uh, Paragenesis Minerals uh -huh. and uh, High Suits and Collectibles. Okay, all right. <laughs> so booth. Okay, all right. So this is another shop at uh, Lakewood 400. So if you uh, uh, want to come up here, as you can see, they will negotiate the deals. Uh, it's nothing firm. Um, and what I see in this shop here, they have uh, collectible cards um they got uh nascar collectibles and you can see the, the drivers up there with the photos um oh, now yeah. these are minerals right here yeah okay over the world beautiful crystals so everywhere. if you're in atlanta and you haven't been up here to georgia 400 to this uh antique shop now like i said as you can see you can negotiate the uh deals up here and they are giving deals uh how, how often do y'all have this sale we're here every month every month the third weekend of every month okay it's three dollars to get in your ticket is good for friday saturday and sunday right so you can come back if you see something okay uh this table here is my dog rescue mutt madness all right all the proceeds on sales of items on this table go to mutt madness all right to help rescue dogs okay that's who the rescue is it's called muttmadness.org they're in cobb county and we okay we foster for them and we rent uh adopt dogs to georgia all so right okay all right sir appreciate it thank you very all much. right you all have a good one and uh oh let me give you one of my cards too y'all okay. can uh yeah i'd like to see check it. it out on uh youtube i have uh, a little over ten thousand subscribers and uh 
you know they definitely uh shop they mm -hmm. are, they are buyers so have you been uh making money on your youtube channel yet yeah I've probably anywhere right now um anywhere between 200 100 to 200 bucks you know it ain't a whole lot yeah yeah but i mean you know if you can start up a youtube channel and get the followers yeah i, I tried that at one point i didn't get enough followers but how much content you were putting out uh, not a whole lot yeah that's i didn't have time yeah well, I, I gotta work on it though I gotta, I gotta get one of these guys yeah so uh check out uh, buffalo picker okay and um you know you can go to it now on your phone just look at some of the videos and i definitely this right here will probably be out by next week okay yeah but you'll okay. see things in here for me that uh yeah. that pretty much uh kind of do a tutorial of the whole place mm -hmm. yeah but i thank you for your time thank you yes sir hey i hope you all enjoyed the video that was definitely a on wrestling match with the lady uh for the barbies uh I thought, you know, coming out the gate, she was going to give me a higher price, like maybe $900,000 or whatever for the Barbies. But she came out like 700 bucks. There's no way I could fight her for 69 Barbies. Uh, well, 69 plus 11 Funko Pops for that price. There's no way I was going to fight her for that. Uh, as you can see in the video, when she said the price, you know, negotiation was pretty much over for me. Uh, but what I wanted to clarify, like I stated in the video that, you know, I wasn't going to pay her for, uh, items that I couldn't use like the damaged, broken, you know, torn up boxes, uh, Barbies. I just don't buy those. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all, um, got some out of this. I tried to be transparent with the video. Uh, please like, and subscribe, share the video. Uh, also have a Friday night show, uh, called defend the hustle with uh, Glass City Pickers and Mess Hall Diggs. I'm um, trying to get back in the swing of doing videos and uh, I'm still making little rookie mistakes, but I'm gonna get it right. I bought some more uh, equipment for my GoPro to kind of make uh, this uh, filming and vlogging thing a little bit more uh, efficient for me. So with that being said, I thank you for the support. Buffalo Picker, Defend the Hustle. See you on the next video.